Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel and some more Victory at Sea coverage here. We're moving through the additional rules. We're going to take a look at torpedo nets for you guys briefly today. So, um, pretty easy uh, to explain here, pretty simple in their use, uh, and a great defensive tool, and really cool for some scenarios too. So as it says here, some uh, scenarios might call for the use of these uh, torpedo nets, uh, basically what they were in real life, sort of heavy steel mesh nets that basically were suspended below the water and basically tried to trap torpedoes, so kind of um, in some way like some of the um cage type armor and things you see to like defeat rpgs kind of i think similar concept there um but basically the torpedoes would make contact with them and then basically blow up as opposed to getting through and hitting a ship um sometimes they were also fitted to ships as a matter of course but by the time of world war ii uh basically just uh as like a harbor defense type feature so the position of torpedo nets can be drawn on the table with a marker um Probably not so much if you're running an actual uh, play mat, um, but basically easy to use with like a piece of string or, as they suggest here, matchsticks or something else useful. Um, but basically, no uh, in-game effect, no torpedo can target a ship if a net lies between them, so um, you'll have to find a way to get around that and get an actual uh, angle uh, so you can have a uh, firing uh, um solution essentially on uh, your target ship. Uh, that being said, with the rather shorter range of torpedoes though, you're gonna definitely have to get up close and personal uh, in many cases to get around those. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, there's obviously inherent danger in that, but a neat little feature and really just makes for um, some uh, interesting and creative play there as, um, you know, an attacker uh, and defender uh, scenario. So um, gives the gives the defending ships in harbor uh, a little bit of a defense against uh, sort of mass torpedo spam um, and then letting them uh, at some point hopefully get underway to then um, more effectively engage uh, the attackers. But um, neat little feature, and again, doesn't really require much in the way of uh, creativity or cost to um, effectively show that on the battlefield. Strings probably honestly going to be the easiest um, in in most cases. Um, doubt anybody or doubt most people are carrying a, a matchbook around with them in their in their gaming uh, bag for whatever reason. But um, yeah, pretty easy to draw out. And I guess if you were playing on like a laminated map or something like that, um, you could use marker. But um, you probably don't want to mark up your uh, play mat. Uh, in most cases but yep those are torpedo nets pretty simple and easy um, let us know if you guys have played some scenarios uh, with them and uh, how effective have they been or how much of a pain in the butt have they been as far as uh, getting around them so that you can actually get an attack on the enemy ships be interested to hear from you guys uh, hit us up in the comments there leave a subscribe if you could as well um, helps keep the channel growing and then if you guys do want to support the channel a little bit more um, check out the link in the description there that'll take you over to warlord and anything you guys pick up there will help support us and we do appreciate everyone who's been doing that hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you in the next one